Hello dealmakers! So in this video, we're going to talk about how do you sell a property quickly? Paano ba magbenta ng property ng mabilisan? Right, so hi, I am Ronald Kagape. I'm a financial educator. I'm an author and a speaker on real estate. I wrote the book, No Money Down Formula in Real Estate. Now, how, to buy, how to buy properties with little or no money down. So in this video, we're going to talk about you know, uh, once you've bought a property, how do you sell it quickly? You need to sell uh, to one of the ways to realize the profit from real estate you know, is to sell the property. If, you're, if your strategy is buying and flipping or maybe if you have lived in a property for a long time, you want to be able to um, make money out of the appreciation, then you need to sell your property quickly. So what are the steps? Okay, number one, you want to make sure that your property is ready to sell. So kailan ihanda nyo siya. Make it ready to sell. And what are the things that you can do? Well, number one, you want to declutter. Tanggalin nyo yung mga gamit na hindi na kailangan. Diba? You have to have that mindset that you're already ready to move. Uh, may, may mga tao, lalo na if you're living in the house, uh, gusto nila magtatanggal sila ng gamit kapag alis na, pag may buyer na. No, that's the wrong mindset. So what you want to do is you want to be ready to move. Tanggalin yun na yung gamit na hindi hindi kailangan. Uh, para pag dating ng buyer don makikita nila maluwag. Okay. So lahat ng hindi kailangan tanggalin yun para magkaroon sila na impression na maluwag yung bahay. Okay. Kasi pag maluwag, di ba? Mas mag magusto magugusto ng buyer na bilhin. Kasi wow, spacious, maluwag. Okay. To. Kapag masadu maraming gamit, masisikipan sila. Isipin nila, ay, masyado maskip to para sa aking family. And you also want to remove yung mga personal things. So, yung mga picture ninyo, diba? yung mga medals, medals, trophy, trophy. Tanggalin nyo na yun. Kasi hindi naman yung kailangan makita ng buyer. Kailangan sila mismo maisip nila, dito ko ilalagay yung mga picture namin, dito ko ilalagay yung mga medal ng mga anak ko. Ayan. So, kung baga kailangan magkaroon sila ng ownership. Habang nandun kayo at nandun yung mga personal things nyo, hindi sila magkakaroon ng ownership. So, remove, declutter the non-essential things. Okay? Next, you want to fix things. Yung mga maliliit na sira, kailangan ayusin. Diba? Sira ba yung doorknob? Ayusin nyo yan. Sira ba yung ilaw? Ayusin nyo yan. So, meron bang tulo? Ayusin mo na. Ayan. So, yung lahat mga maliliit na bagay na kailangan ayusin, ayusin na. Okay? Next, you want to also make it bright. Uh, maliwanag, magandang gawing maliwanag uh, yung bahay para pagpasok nila, positive yung energy kasi kung madilim yung property medyo malungkot at ayaw mo ng buyer na malungkot kasi hindi sila bibili so you want them to feel good about the house no, you want them to feel ah, okay dito, maliwanag okay? next, you want to update yung mga luma Kumbaka kung luma na dun sa bahay uh, update yun na, ano yung, ano yung mga luma luma ba yung faucet Ayan, 1980s pa ba yan? Makikita naman ito sa style eh. Diba? Kung luma na, palitan nyo na, gawin nyo na ng bago. Uh, lalo na yung mga tiles. Diba? Iba yung tiles nung 1990s, 1980s sa tiles ngayon. So, kung uh, kung kaya naman, diba, mag-invest ng konti, pa-update nyo yung mga tiles, yung mga fixtures, yung lababo, uh, etc. Okay? Next, you also want to improve yung tinatag na curb appeal. Uh, this applies kung bahay. Ayan, kung bahay yan, um, ito yung ano yung itsura ng bahay pag tayo nila do sa harap Kasi, because you want to make a good first impression pag maganda yung first impression positive yung feeling nila do sa house pag pasok nila sa loob maghahanap sila ng mga reason bakit nila bibilin yung bahay okay? pero kung nandun pa lang sila sa harap nakita nila, pangit diba? Pag tour, pag pasok nila sa loob, maghanap sila ng reason bakit ayaw nilang bilhin yung bahay. Pa-point out nila lahat ng pangit. So, you want to make sure na maganda yung first impression, ma-inlove kagad sila para humanap sila ng reason para bilhin yung bahay. So, ano yung mga pwede nyo gawin? Siyempre, linisin nyo. Kung meron niyang garden, linisin nyo yung damo. Dapat walang, dapat walang damo. Tanggalin nyo lahat ng damo. Trim nyo yung mga halaman, trim yung mga puno. Lalo na kung masyado makapal na yung puno, hindi na makita yung bahay. Yan, medyo i-trim nyo na yan. Uh, repaint nyo yung harap ng bahay, gawin nyo malinis. Lahat ng mga kalat, tanggalin. Uh, make sure that you create a good first impression. Okay? So, 
once your property is ready to sell. So, nagpe-prepare pa lang tayo. Wala pa tayong ginagawa uh, pagdating sa marketing and all that. Uh, number two, you have to decide on the price. Make sure that the property is priced to sell. Uh, tamang presyo. Huwag masyadong mataas. Dahil kung masyadong mataas, umaasa ka lang na mabibenta mo siya at a high price. Kailangan, gumawa ka ng market study and you want to make sure that your property is just the same price as the others pero mas maganda yung condition mo. That way, mas mabilis kang mabibenta. Okay. Maaaring mag-presyo ka ng konti pero huwag masyadong, huwag masyadong mataas. Okay. Dahil kung masyadong mataas yan, you're going to eliminate all the other buyers at uh, map mapipilitan ka magbenta dun sa isa or dalawang property at uh, isa or dalawang buyer na interested tumingin sa property mo. Okay. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get say two or three interested buyers tapos paglalabanin mo sila. Mag-outbid mag sila. Uh, again, they're, they're going to bid against each other para yung high speeder sa kanya mapunta yung bahay. Pero pag masyado mataas kasi yung price mo, hindi sila magbibid against themselves. Okay? And don't fight the market. Okay? Kung ano yung price na sinabi do sa market study mo, wag mo labanan, wag mong taasan. Hoping na makakakuha ka ng mas mataas na price because it never happens. Okay? The market is always right. And the market will pay your, your house um, the amount of money that it is willing to pay. Okay? So, don't fight the market. Okay? So, number one, be ready to sell. Number two, be priced to sell. And once you've done that, you market to sell. Okay? So, once you have a great property at a great price, then you write a great description. So, mag-practice kayong mag-sulat ng magandang description. Lagay nyo lahat ng... Uh, magandang features at magandang benefits ng bahay nyo. Uh, look at a lot of property ads. Tapos hanapin nyo yung mga uh, magandang description at gayahin nyo lang yung style. Okay, hindi nyo naman kailangan maging magaling na writer. Uh, kumopla, kumopya lang kayo ng uh, mga style na mga property description na nagugustuhan nyo. Look for them online. Marami naman yan. Okay. And then take a lot of pictures. Take pictures in the morning. Take pictures you know, in the afternoon, in, in the evening. Uh, para marami kayong pagpipilian kung ano yung best na ipapakita nyo, lalo na kapag magpo-post na kayo online. Okay? Also, make a video. Diba? Make a video uh, at hindi yung silent video. Kailangan dun sa video na to, para siyang virtual tour na, na pinapoint out nyo yung mga magagandang qualities ng bahay ninyo. Okay? So, make a video, make a virtual tour, be lively when you are uh, presenting you know, the property. And then post online, post everywhere online. Sa lahat ng websites uh, that is available, no uh, online. So uh, ano ano ba yung available ngayon? Di ba ngayon nandyan yung uh, carousel, nandyan yung property 24, uh, my property, uh, Lamudi, Hapler, marami yan. Maraming mga websites that allow you to post no your property for sale. So lahat ng websites na meron. Uh, mag-post kayo. Kahit yung, hindi ko na, di, kahit yung hindi ko nasabi. Kasi meron mga websites na lumalabas. Uh, every year, meron mga bagong websites. So, make sure that you post there as well. Okay? Post everywhere. Yan. Then, post also in your social media accounts. Diba? Post in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Kaya ka kumukuha ng maraming picture, kaya ka gumagawa ng video para ma-post mo lahat yan sa social media. And don't post ng isang bagsak. Diba? Uh, pa isa-isa everyday uh, nagpo-post ka kasi kailangan tuloy-tuloy ka nagma-market hangga't hindi siya nabebenta okay then then place signs place signs on the house on the condo and in the area in the vicinity kung saan ka pwede mag-post diba kung condo yan mag-post ka sa mga bulletin boards diba kung subdivision ganoon din post ka sa mga uh, bulletin board uh, pwede ka mag-post do sa mga vacant lot diba mag-post ka ng uh, sign, tapos merong arrow kung saan papunta yung bahay mo. Tapos sa bahay mo, uh, mas maganda meron kang multiple signs uh, para makikita nung naglalakad, makikita nung nagda-drive. Okay, so, you want to test, kaya ba itong makita nung nagda-drive, kaya ba itong makita nung naglalakad, and in both directions. Kailangan meron kang signs that appeal no, in both directions. Okay? Then, make Facebook ads. Ang maganda sa Facebook, pwede mong i-target dun sa specific location. So, halimbawa, nagbebenta ka sa BGC, the i-target mo na yung lahat ng nakatara sa BGC, makikita nila yung property mo. Kung taga Pasig ka, di ba, uh, kung saan man sa Pasig, i-target mo yung lahat ng tao na nakatira 
sa area na yun. Kasi the most properties are sold to people in the area. Karamihan naman ng buyers taga dun din lang. So make sure that you target your uh, advertising when you're using Facebook ads. Okay. Alright, or kung masyadong, kung masyadong matrabaho, itong lahat nung sinadjust ko sa inyo, one of the best ways is to hire a licensed real estate broker. Kasi ito, lalo na yung mga professional. Okay, yung mga merong strategy. So you interview a lot of brokers, yung mga brokers that operate in your area. Um, you hire them. Kasi baka sila mismo, meron silang buyers list. Diba? Meron silang active buyers na naghahanap. So that could be one of the ways where you can sell your property quickly. Hire a broker na professional mag-market or meron ng buyers list and that will help you sell your property quickly. Okay? If you priced your property correctly, if you bought your property at the right price, then hiring a real estate broker will still give you a profit. Okay? So, uh, that's it. Now, uh, if you... No, just to review, quickly review, if you want to sell a property quickly, make sure that it is ready to sell, uh, number one. Number two, it is price to sell. And number three, you do everything that you market your property to sell it. Okay. If you want to learn how to buy properties with little or no money down, now make sure to check you check out my book, nomoneydownformula.com. Okay, it's av available in digital uh, format. Um, and if you want to learn more, about real estate, make sure that you're subscribed to the DealMaker channel. Kung hindi ka pa subscribe, subscribe ka na, like this video, share it with your friends, share it with people who want to learn uh, how to invest in real estate. Okay, make sure that you also click the subscribe and uh, tap on the bell button to make sure that you receive notifications kapag merong bagong videos on this channel. Alright, so that's it. I hope that you will invest in real estate. I hope you make a lot of deals in real estate so that all of you will grow rich. Okay, see you on the next video.